just provides a better platform in terms of uh, number one, the area where we work from, being a slum area with so many people and a very congested area, no space for soccer, mm. just becomes a valuable tool for that purpose. Then two, I uh, also having gotten an opportunity to study uh, all the way through college. Uh, why I decided to use chess was mainly to affect the mindset of the children, to allow them develop that self-belief that we have problems all of us, that we can make it. And because I know chess is a, a also an academic tool in so many ways, you can't teach people how to think, but if you put a board before them, you get them to the concepts, uh, thinking just becomes to be part of the, the daily routine. So all wow. these kind of uh, attributes and concepts just offers were very, very pertinent to what I wanted to realize and how I wanted to affect the mindset of these learners because I strongly believe total transformation begins with mindset change. So this was my main focus that how do I allow them to imagine, allow them to dream and start to see possibilities, even amidst the adversities they are going through. Wow. Because that's what made the change to me as well. That, that is amazing. So what I'm hearing you say so quickly is that while chess is a game that you know, is strategic and problem solving, what, what I'm hearing you say is that children enjoy the game and don't even realize the skills that they are developing while they're playing the game. And that in the process, it's not just problem solving, it's the mindset, right? The, what we like to say at Chess for Life, you can win, draw, or learn, yeah. right? There is no losing if the mindset is right, the attitude, right? So that, that is powerful. And thank you, Robert, for sharing that. 